This is what we're using on the drip edge on the lower part of the roof. It has a cant built in here. You can see it underneath. And that cant uh, <coughs> tilts the slate at the proper angle because all the slates are tilted because they're overlapping each other. Notice the starter slate is installed backside up. The bevel is down so that the, the two slates merge to a point on this edge. This is this is uh, standard traditional slating here. Traditionally a little strip of wood is used like this, just nailed or screwed onto the edge. But here we're using this copper drip edge with a can to just to dress up the roof a little bit, make a little fancier job. This is our copper drip edge with a built-in cant. Sixteen ounce. This is sixteen ounce. This is sixteen ounce copper. starter force going on. You see how the can lifts the bottom of the slate up off the roof. It's important that this edge uh, doesn't line up with the edge of the first cord doesn't line up with the edge of the starter. There has to be a three inch minimum lateral overlap. This is the first course here. Starter course is upside down, this is back side up is the correct way to install it. Notice there's a minimum three inches of uh, lateral spacing.